What is going on you guys? This is Tech HD coming at you with another video and in my last video I reviewed the Atomus Ninja 5 Fuel Monitor and if you haven't seen that video out It'll be linked down in the description below or you could click on the eye to check that video out But I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use the Ninja 5 as a 4k HDR gaming capture card and the benefits of using this as a capture card compared to other companies capture cards so the first thing I'm going to be showing you guys is how to set everything up. What you will need is a Ninja 5 fuel monitor, a Sony battery to power the Ninja 5, and an SSD to save the footage. It doesn't have to be one specifically made for the Ninja 5, you could get one that's for a computer like the Samsung SSD to save some money. You will also need two HDMI 2.0 cables, an Xbox One X or PS4 Pro since these are the only consoles that support 4K HDR10, and either a 4K HDR TV or a monitor. So if you have an Xbox One X or a PS4 Pro, just plug the console into the Ninja 5 HDMI input port, then plug the other HDMI cable into the HDMI output port and the other end into a TV or monitor. On the Xbox One X, go to the settings and go to display and sound. Then go to video mode and make sure that the allow 4K and HDR10 are enabled. The Ninja 5 doesn't allow Dolby Vision so that box will not be able to be checked, but that doesn't matter since all games only support HDR10. On the PS4 Pro, go to the settings and go to system tab. Uncheck the HDCP, otherwise it will not work. Then go to display and sound tab, go to video output settings and make sure that the resolution is set to 2160p RGB and the range is set to full and the HDR is set to automatic. Now that the consoles are set up, let's make sure on the Ninja 5 that the HDMI 2.0 is selected and the HDMI HDR auto is on as well. Notice that under the devices section, the Ninja 5 automatically detects that the manufacturer is either an Xbox One or PS4. And that's how you set everything up with the Ninja 5 with the Xbox One X and PS4 Pro with HDR support. But what are the benefits of using this instead of a regular capture card like from Elgato, Hot Park, or Ava Media? First, a regular capture card will require you to use a laptop or desktop to record the console. And if you want to record 4K 60fps HDR, then you are only allowed to use a desktop capture card since there is no laptop capture card that is able to record up to 4K 60fps HDR 10, only as a pass-through like the Elgato HD 60S Plus. And you will still need to purchase a high-end desktop in order to support those 4K recording capture cards. From Elgato, the 4K60 Pro Mark II requires at least a 6th gen Intel Core i7 and an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 10 series. For Ava Media, the live game of 4K requires at least a 6th gen Intel Core i5 and an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 or above. Getting all those parts for a PC and a capture card, you're spending about the same or more compared to a Ninja 5. And if you don't have those specs, then your footage will be choppy and freeze and not be able to keep up. The Ninja 5 doesn't require a PC to record 4K 60fps HDR10, which is very helpful for portability. Speaking of portability, let's talk about reason number 2. Since the only capture cards that are able to record 4K 60fps HDR10 is a desktop PC, you have no way of taking it with you if you travel a lot and still want to record some gameplay. You would need to take your whole setup, but with the Ninja 5, all you need is that and a budget laptop. With the Ninja 5, you can right away start recording, monitor the footage live, and make sure that everything is working fine. And when you're finished recording, you can play back right away on the Ninja 5 and see how the footage looks. Not only that, but when you play back what you recorded, it will also show on the TV or monitor, so you'll be able to see it on a bigger screen right away. You can also do some simple edits on the Ninja 5, like trim the gameplay and have it be a highlight instead of a full gameplay. All of this doesn't require a desktop, PC, or an external monitor. All you will need on top of the Ninja 5 is a budget laptop to transfer the footage if you want to upload it to YouTube or share it on Instagram or Twitter. You won't need a high-end laptop to do that, and if you really want to do some voiceovers or on Audacity or some light edits, you still won't need a high-end laptop to do that. I personally would see this as a benefit if I go to a friend's house and they have an Xbox One X or PS4 Pro and they want to record some gameplay. The Ninja 5 will be the easiest to travel with and give me the best possible quality. My third reason is the Ninja 5 records at a higher bitrate than other capture cards which equals to overall better quality. For the Elgato 4K 60 Pro Mark II, the max bitrate is up to 140 megabits per second. And on the Ava Media Live Gamer 4K, the max bitrate is up to 240 megabits per second. But for the Ninja 5, if I record using Apple ProRes 422 HQ codec, the max bitrate is up to 220 megabits per second at 1080p 30fps. I couldn't even find what the bitrate is for 4K, 
but if the 1080p is already higher than the other capture cards then you know that the bitrate for 4k 60fps hdr10 is going to be much higher so you will be getting a much better quality footage using the ninja 5 and my fourth reason these two are very minor but should still be mentioned the ninja 5 offers pre-roll which means that in 4k if i forget to hit record and i just got a crazy cool quick scope in call of duty pre-roll will always be recording the last two seconds in 4k in the background before i hit record so if i hit record right after i got that kill and stopped in the recording and played it back you'll see that the footage starts two seconds before i hit record and it'll show my quick scope so that's pretty helpful if i got something really cool that wasn't planned and it just happened for 1080p it will be 8 seconds so that's even more helpful if you just record at 1080p. The second thing is I could plug a microphone directly into the Ninja 5 and be able to record the gameplay and my voice so if I want to do some voiceovers with the gameplay or capture my reaction I could do that. I could also plug in some headphones directly into the Ninja 5 as well so I could hear the game and not have the mic pick it up. So now before I give you guys my overall thoughts, I want to show you guys some side-by-side -side gameplays of the benefits of HDR versus SDR. So we should have multiple games showing and you will notice right away that the HDR footage does much better when it comes to the highlights, shadows, and contrast. There's also a bit of color improvements as well, so that's really noticeable when you're playing a scene outside and you see that the sky's not being washed out and the colors are still there. So HDR combined with 4K 60 frames is a beautiful gameplay footage and the best quality that you could possibly get. So I really like the Atomus Ninja 5 as a capture card and it's really helpful when I want to record gameplay in my living room for example and I don't have to bring my whole PC with a monitor to do it or a capture card, a portable capture card with my laptop and not be able to record at the best possible quality. The Ninja 5 combines both portability and maximum quality but of course it's not for everyone. If you already own a good PC and a 4K monitor and you just need a capture card, then that's fine. If you also want to stream and add overlays, a webcam, a microphone, then this is obviously not for you. But if you want to record gameplay at the highest possible quality anywhere you are with the least amount of gear to travel with, then the Ninja 5 is definitely for you. Also, if you're a videographer as well like myself, then I can use this for both as a capture card and as an external field monitor, so that's when you really take the full benefits of the Ninja 5. But there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do have any questions that I didn't cover, let me know down in the comments below as well. Everything will be linked down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you guys can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Follow me on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitch. As always, it's Tech HD. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!